Hey, so usually when I wake up, I sort of brace myself for another new CLI tool popping up, right? But today, I stumbled on something that actually feels fresh and kinda exciting, and it's called Open Code. It's this free, open source AI coding agent that lives right in your terminal. You know, something that finally feels like it's made by developers, for developers. And yeah, I know, I know, we've seen projects that promise the world, but this one, well, stick around, cause I think you'll like it. So what makes open code stand out? First off, it's got this really slick terminal UI that you can theme however you want. No more boring, plain text prompts, this feels like a native app you'd actually want to use. Then there's the whole multi-agent thing. You can run different AI agents side by side on the same project, so one can be debugging, one can be refactoring, and maybe another is helping you come up with a better function name. It's like having a mini dev team in your shell, except these team members never take coffee breaks or any other break. Now, if you're thinking about Cloud Code or Gemini CLI, yeah, those exist, and they're okay. Cloud Code tries to be accurate with code by auto-loading LSPs, but it still keeps you in this wall of text with no real visual magic. Gemini CLI, same basic deal just text, but open code? It embraces the terminal UI fully, giving you menus, pop-ups, all that good stuff, and it still hooks into your LSPs so the AI doesn't just spit out nonsense. It's got that best of both worlds vibe, where you get the beauty of a UI and the brains of code-aware models. And speaking of models, open code doesn't tie you down. It supports over 75 models right out of the box through different router. You can plug in Google Gemini, OpenAI, Anthropic Cloud, Amazon Bedrock, you name it. Even local models, if you're that kind of person who wants everything on your machine, whereas with Cloud Code or Gemini CLI, you're basically stuck with their ecosystems and whatever models they choose to support. Open Code says, hey, pick your model, and if you want to switch model mid-session, you can do that too. Oh, and collaboration. This is huge, honestly. Ever tried to show someone what your AI session looked like? With Open Code, you can generate a shareable link to your session. It's read-only, but still, you can let your teammate or friend see exactly how you worked through that bug or which prompts got you that refactor. Cloud Code and Gemini CLI don't have that at all. So if you're tired of sending screenshots or long explanations over Slack, this is a dream come true. Imagine eight coding agents working. Each one try to run you out of processes, and the last one standing wins. It's kind of ridiculous, but it highlights how stable and efficient open code is. Before we jump into trying open code ourselves, do me a favor and hit subscribe and like this video. All right, so let's install open code. It's shockingly simple. Head over to the open code docs at opencode.ai. Docs, there's a link right below this video and pick the install method for your OS. You can use NPM or Yarn to install the binary. For me, I just popped into my terminal shell and ran the NPM command. Easy peasy. Once it's installed, you just type open code in your terminal and it starts up. When you first launch it, you'll see a prompt to pick your model provider. They list everything. Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, Amazon Bedrock, Azure, DeepSeek, GrokQ, name it. If you're curious, I'd recommend picking Google Gemini 2.5 Pro because you can get a free tier API key from Google's AI Studio. That way, you can riff on code all day without worrying about hitting your wallet. Or, if you want to experiment, you can pick Open Router and tap into models like DeepSeek or Quen for free. The point is, you've got choices. So, after you set up your provider, you get this main terminal UI for open code. There's a sidebar with commands and shortcuts, a chat window where you type your prompts, and a status bar at the bottom showing which model you're using, your token count, that sort of thing. If you press slash, a menu pops up so you can switch models, open a new session, or even tweak your theme right then and there. It's super flexible. Then, of course, you can start coding. Maybe you type, um, refactor this function to use a switch statement, or, Help me write a test for this API endpoint. And behind the scenes, open code's agents kick into gear. They'll talk to each other, gather context via LSPs, and even run tools if you give permission. The difference here is that you don't have to copy-paste your code into a web editor. It's all local, secure, 
and you keep your flow going in the same terminal window you've been living in all day. One thing that really blew my mind was the auto compact feature. When your session gets long, like over five, zero tokens, or whatever your model's limit is, open code auto summarizes the conversation into a new compact session. That way you don't lose track and you never run out of context. And the summary is pretty solid. I tested it on a really long debug session, and it nailed the key points without losing any important details. Honestly, the whole experience feels very developer-centric. It's like they asked, what do terminal lovers actually need, and then just built it. From the Thermable TUI, to the multi-agent workflows, to session links, to the mega model flexibility, it's clear a lot of thought went into this. And the best part? It's community-driven. People are constantly adding new providers, new features, and fixing bugs in real time. It's that open source magic, right? So, if you've been on the fence about bringing AI into your terminal without sacrificing usability or color schemes, give OpenCode a shot. You'll probably spend a few minutes customizing your theme cores. Come on, we all judge tools by how they look. Then you'll be off to the races, refactoring, debugging, and building with AI as your sidekick. So, um, once you've got open code up and running, the next thing you'll notice is how easy it is to pick and choose models. Like, say you want to use Google's models, you just go into the model selector and you'll see every single Google model listed there. It's just a scroll away. You can switch to Gemini 2.5, Gemini 1, or whatever they're calling their code model these days. No messing around with hidden menus or messing up environment variables. It's all right in front of you, nice and tidy. And then there's the editor integration, which, honestly, feels like a dream. You can initialize all kinds of stuff right from within the CLI. So, if you need to spin up a new project or scaffold some files, you type one command and it does the work for you. But beyond that, you can compact your session when it starts to get super long. If you've ever had a terminal prompt scroll off your screen because you've been talking to an AI forever, you know the pain. Open code's answer is simple. You run the compact command and it summarizes everything into a neat little blob. It just frees up the space so you can actually see what you're doing. Managing multiple sessions is another feature that feels kind of magical. Imagine you're working on three different tasks, front end, back end, maybe some test sand you don't want to mix them up. You just type new session, name it and boom, you have separate spaces inside the same terminal. You can switch back and forth with a quick command. And if you ever want to see all your sessions at once, there's a listing command that lays them all out, so you don't accidentally overwrite work or lose track of where you were. Oh, and sharing sessions. I still can't believe this wasn't a thing forever ago. You hit the share button and out pops a read-only link. You can toss that link to a teammate or even paste it in a chat with your friends. They see your entire open code session exactly as it happened. Every prompt, every response, every little tweak. It's a total game changer when you're trying to get feedback or just show off what you've built. Now, the theming options are kind of ridiculous in a good way. You've got light themes, dark themes, blue accents, green accents, you name it. You can browse through them in the settings menu, preview them live and pick the one that makes you happy. It's such a simple quality of life upgrade, but I swear, staring at a cool theme makes you code better. In my opinion, this CLI tool is just a step above the other options out there. It beats Gemini CLI in terms of flexibility, and it handles more models than cloud code ever could. Plus, it's all open source and community driven, so it keeps getting better. If you haven't already, go ahead and install OpenCode. Play around with these features and see how it fits into your workflow. Of course, hit subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you, and maybe dive into some of our older videos for more AI dev tips. Thanks for watching, stay positive, and I'll catch you in the next one.